This has been kind of a crazy week for us. On today's vlog, we're gonna show you what we did throughout the week to stay busy. Well, we're super excited for the house and at the end of the video, stay tuned, we'll give you a little bit of a good, exciting house update. So it hasn't been crazy in the sense of work, really. Our work is pretty normal. It's been crazy in the sense of real life is hitting us in the face a little bit right now. Yeah, trying to stay busy while we're like also very concerned with getting everything done with the house and trying to like control the excitement so that way we can actually like sleep at night. Yeah, and we've had a lot of family come to visit. Jamie's dad's been having some health issues, so we've been dealing with that and it's been fun. So in the meantime, we like to do a little paint therapy. So we started out the week painting a big white French dresser that we've had in the garage forever. And yeah. then um, like we six went, months. <laughs> we did some garage archeology. span Yeah. And found some stuff. I guess we could call it that. <laughs> we went digging in the garage. To spray this, I'm gonna be using DIY and beadboard. This is a pint. It should be plenty once I add the water to this. I water it down, three parts paint, one part water, and then I add two tablespoons of water on top of that for the DIY paint in the hopper, and it's a really good mix. Sprayer I'm using is the Central Pneumatic HVLP. It's got a 20 ounce hopper on it, and it has a 1.4 millimeter nozzle. I spray this DIY paint at 60 to 65 PSI. We found some things in the garage and we came to the shop, figured out where to like fit them all in because we want it to be really stocked because we know that as soon as we get the house, we're gonna be busy. We have a ton of mirrors. Jamie's been kind of collecting them. She gets on these kicks every now and then where she just starts, she, she loves certain things and she just gets a bunch of them. I've got like eight more mirrors in the garage right now, but the one we did we Wednesday- eight. We don't have eight. I bet if we counted them, there might even be nine. Maybe seven and a half. Nine. So the mirror we did this week was pretty plain, didn't have a lot going on for it. It was like a brown neutral tone and we added some gold, we added some IOD molds, we white waxed it. That's how we ended up finishing it was with a white wax and it turned out amazing. It sold before we even got it to the shop. Started out as a $10 mirror. We probably are were about maybe $60 into it if you include the price of like what we used on it and sold it for $145. So I call that a win. Yeah. It's a good investment of time. Yep. So yesterday we decided to have a little bit of fun with a modern Bombay brand dresser that I purchased for $25 from Facebook Marketplace. If you haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. Sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone. We would normally brush this kind of finish, but I was like, what if we just use a spray gun? And guess what? It worked. It looks great. And, and it, it was quick. way fast. Like we were done midday. Yeah, so. I think the whole, the whole project including dry time was like two hours from start to finish. Yeah, well that thanks to the hot weather outside. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> We're too late. These pressed oak chairs are sold with this table. What about these? They're kind of more square than we normally get. I think we have enough candlesticks. Oh, they're glued together anyway. <laughs> the candlestick selection is is overflowing at the shop. So I found two of these. They always look good painted. Two bucks each. I'm gonna pick them up. 
I'm thinking about that mirror, but I don't know. Hey, is that something we brought back? I don't know, but I think I have them like that. I might still have one, I don't know. We'll find it, out when we get there. It might be at the house. Got this little kid's rolling pin. It should be awesome. We might not even paint that. Might just leave it as is. It's a dollar. Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. For $5, it's kind of cool. I don't even know if it needs repainted. We kind of got some gold going on in the shop. That's shower. the red and the gold's just not Here's quite my thing. jam. You paint it white, and then you bring the gold back through. There, that, That's what I'm talking about, yeah. I'm pretty sure I need this one. It's like a weird shape and it's got good detail. This is a little bit different than we normally pick up. Yeah, so I would buy it because we have a stack of mirrors, but with an interesting shape and a good frame, I can't pass it up for 10 bucks. Okay, so we have the imposter knob down here. I'm gonna just steal one from this top row. And then we have these new knobs here that we're gonna put on the top. We think they'll look real good with the rest of it. We'll make it look like we meant to. I feel like sometimes we come into the shop and it's like playing Where's Waldo? You know, you, you're kind of looking around, it's changed a little, but you're not quite sure what it is that's changed. Yeah, we gotta figure out what's sold and like move things around. It's Friday morning. Friday and Saturday are big sale days for us at the shop. So we're going to be moving things around. We actually have to make a sep second trip back later because we need to restock paint because usually like people will buy stuff for their DIY weekend so Friday's a really important day to make sure everything's looking hot and ready to go. Whoa! <laughs> this is gonna move where the bar stool was. Yeah get it out of that corner don't hide it over there. Sometimes we hide it <laughs> in the corner because there's no one else for them to go. So this trunk is still here sometimes things that we think will sell fast hang around a little while but that's okay because it looks really good in here and it helps everything else look better. All right, so we moved this one with the back showing, but we're going to put this trunk open right here. Maybe. Maybe we will. We can make it through. I think people can see that good walking in. Um, I don't know, I kind of think it would be better. Alright. I kind of almost wonder if we can just do those two next to each other. Oh. You gotta be careful. Oh. They're not attached. No. Yeah, that's good. These aren't. No, don't push it up all the way, need a little bit of a gas. We're currently out of wall space, so stuff like this little uh, window hook rack get to stay on the floor until we find something. But they look pretty good at leaning up against stuff, so it's okay. No one's kicked them over yet, they've been here a couple weeks. Okay, little house update. We have been fully approved. We have our closing disclosures and we should be signing loan documents tomorrow at 11. We have an appointment. So if you wanna see how that shook out, go ahead and hit that notification subscribe button so you don't miss our live at 8.30 Mountain Time tomorrow on our channel, 8.30 p.m. We'll be doing our thrift haul. We'll give you guys an update on how the signing went or how we're not gonna know. No, don't even say that. <laughs> If you want to achieve these looks in your home or for sale, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com for all your DIY needs. Thanks for watching our weekly vlog. If you like this video, be sure you're sharing it and check out some of our other tutorials. See you guys tomorrow.
hit the subscribe button.